Usually when you think of a rabbit, you picture a cuddly ball of fur munching on carrots. But these small mammals prefer other foods, live in sophisticated tunnel systems, and literally have eyes in the back of their heads. See what fascinating things you can learn in this 10 Things You Didn't Know About Rabbits. Rabbits and hares come from the same family, and although these terms are often used interchangeably, they are in fact very different to each other. Hares are bigger, have longer ears, longer legs so they can jump and run faster, live above ground, and are less sociable, living alone or in pairs. Rabbits, on the other hand, are smaller, shorter-eared, sociable creatures living in large groups known as colonies. Rabbits live in a tunnel system known as warrens, which can cover large areas from the size of a tennis court to a few acres. These tunnels are connected with separate areas for sleeping, living, and toileting, and places for babies. They also have several exit holes that allow for quick escapes. If they sense danger, rabbits will thump their back legs on the ground to warn other rabbits in the warren. Rabbits aren't very vocal, so thumping is an important way of communicating. While it is true that rabbits will eat carrots, too many are not good for them because of the high sugar content which can cause tooth decay. Their preference is greens, grasses, clover, cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, and tree bark. Although it sounds unappetizing, rabbits can produce a special type of poop called cecotropes, which look like a bunch of small, shiny black grapes. This is softer than their normal poop and is meant to be eaten. Food moves through a rabbit's digestive system really quickly, so this allows them to get more nutrients from their food by redigesting a second time. Rabbits have long, powerful hind legs with five digits on each foot. They move about on the tips of their toes in a style known as digitigrade locomotion. Their powerful legs also allow them to jump high and far and in a zigzag pattern so that they can evade predators. Like human hair and nails, a rabbit's teeth grow continuously at about 2 millimeters per week. This is to compensate for the constant wear and tear on their teeth from nibbling their food into tiny pieces. But it also means that they have to chew on tough foods like nuts, leaves, and bark to wear down their teeth and keep them from growing too long. Well, not really. But in order to help protect them from predators, they have vision that covers nearly 360 degrees, which means they can see what is coming up behind them without even having to turn their heads. In order to help protect them from predators, a rabbit's fur will adapt depending on the surrounding environment and the season. They molt several times a year to keep changing color. For example, the eastern cottontail, the most common species in North America, is a reddish-brown in the summer and changes to a lighter gray-brown in the winter. Male rabbits are called bucks, female rabbits are called does, and the babies are called kits. There can be 1 to 14 kits in a litter, with the average being 6. If a rabbit eats something bad or gets a hairball after grooming themselves, they cannot vomit. This is because of the anatomy of their stomach. The entrance into the stomach has a strong, thick, muscular opening that does not allow food to move backwards. Other animals that cannot vomit include horses, squirrels, mice, and other rodents. This brings us to the end of the video. Hit like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any videos in the future.